Welcome to NTC Reviews. Recently, I set up one of the Freedom 5 Helium 5G CBRS indoor bundles, and everything went pretty well. It's a few days later, I'm earning the mobile tokens, so thumbs up on that. So far, so good. I received my 5G indoor bundle from Calchip Connect. Once my uh, setup video for the Freedom 5 5G went live, I had received an email from Cal Chip asking if I was interested in testing out their Helium 5G Network Wi-Fi Access Point Bundle. Sounded interesting to me, but I had no idea what they were talking about, so I did a little bit of research. I went on there, looked at the specs, thought that it sounded pretty interesting, and decided to take Cal Chip up on their offer. So what exactly is this Helium Access Point that I'm gonna be talking to you about today? Well, from my understanding so far, without actually setting it up, is that the way that the Freedom 5 5G Helium CBRS radio works is that you would need an eSIM or a SIM card that you would put into your mobile device, let's say a phone. And now with that eSIM card, you're able to access the 5G network that the radio is providing. Now with this access point here, instead of needing these eSIM cards for all of my devices to be able to connect to the network, what this 5G access point does is take that radio signal from the Freedom Fi radio and converts that into Wi-Fi. So now that all of my devices, as long as they're Wi-Fi capable, will be able to connect to the network without needing those eSIM cards or SIM cards. So in theory, sounds pretty cool. What I'm gonna do now is set everything up, make sure that it works, see how well it works. If you're interested in that information, keep watching. Have everything unboxed here for the 5G access point, and there aren't that many components. You actually have the AP point, you have two antennas, which I already had put on. You have your SIM card. There is a patch cable, power cord with adapter, some little bumpers in there too, little bumper guards. There is the stand. Now you could actually mount this on the stand or there is also a back plate on the AP unit where if you want to hang it or mount it to a wall, you also have that option. It even comes with a small template here to facilitate that installation. So two different choices there. You got your stand or wall mount. On the access point, you have your panel here. So you have your power, you have your uh, ethernet connection, reset button, WPS, where this is where you insert your SIM. And then there are a series of lights that we'll get into later. As far as the setup guide, uh, there are a couple different guides on the CalChip Connect website. Uh, as usual, I will put links in the description to all of that information, but that's the guide that I am using to set up this Helium access point. I took a brief look at the setup guide even before I uh, received the access point. And just like all the other information that I've gotten so far from CalChip, very detailed. I don't see me having any issues at all as far as following the directions. So the first thing that the setup guide says to do is to insert or attach your antennas. There's two different ones. You just go ahead very simply and screw them in. And they do recommend that the antennas are pointing straight up. The next thing that there is to do is to actually insert the SIM card. This SIM card was taped to the uh, box that the access point came in. So I just lifted that up, go ahead, take it out of this little notch, take out the little SIM card. The little notched end is here, so this is upright, and it tells you to just insert it with that little notch to the left. And it's in there. So the next step would be to either utilize the stand and have it affixed that way or what i'm going to do is actually mount it on the wall giving me more space and uh, working with the current setup that i have so the next step is to attach my power adapter and we're waiting for the internet and the wi-fi lights to turn green all right internet is good to go waiting on the wi-fi and there we go the next step is to scan the QR code here with my mobile device that's on the back of the AP. And there we go, it's now asking me to connect to the network. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. 
it is finding the SSID, which your SSID is right below the QR code here. So you have your SSID and there is the password. So it's already telling me that it's connected. So we're good to go. It did all that just with the QR code. So out of curiosity here, I am connected to my Wi-Fi network that I have at home here, which is the NTC HQ. And I just want to run a couple speed tests and uh, see if I notice any kind of difference. So I'm connected to my regular home one out here. I'm going to go over to speedtest.net, click go, and see what we get. So we got a total of download speed here on my regular network of 22.47. Let's go ahead now and connect to the access point and also run a speed test and uh, see if we notice any difference at all. So there's my access point connecting, connected. Let's go back to that speed test. Let's go to try again. Not bad. Pretty good. Access point is actually giving me about double the uh, speed that I was getting on my regular router. So, thumbs up. So I have my uh, helium access point here mounted on the wall where I wanted to. It's a little lower than I wanted it to be, but with the uh, power adapter not that long. So what I want to do now is actually dial in to the access point and I want to change the SSID and I also want to change the password just to make it easier to be able to add other devices down the line. So now I want to dial into my access point and be able to change the username and the password as well as the login credentials. Now I've gone ahead and already have done that but just to uh, follow through and walk you through it, what you want to do is open up a web browser, make sure that you are connected to your access point, and you're going to punch in 192.168.2.1, hit enter, it's going to bring up this screen here, your default uh, username and password are both admin, but uh, as I mentioned, I've already gone ahead and changed mine, so I'm in there, I'm going to go ahead and log in, And here we go, you have your dashboard. What I wanna do here is go into my basic network. From there, I'm gonna click on Wi-Fi. And as you can tell here, I already changed my SSID to Helium AP, and I also went ahead and changed the password. There are plenty of other options here for you to configure, and you could go ahead and play around with uh, those options and configure them to whatever is best for you. My access point is pretty much good to go at this point. Now, the next step would be that there is this device HQ option. And uh, basically what that is, is uh, Device HQ is a cloud-based device management tool for remote monitoring, upgrades, and configuration. So once again, getting a lot more out of your access point and configuring the network to your needs and uh, your customization. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to end the video here. What I will do is, uh, once I do play around with the Device HQ and uh, basically get my bearings, uh, with uh, those options, I'll go ahead and make another video detailing the process that I went through to set that up. Once again, as I tweak and learn more about Access Point as well as the Helium 5G in general, I will keep making more videos. So be sure to subscribe, stay notified, comment below, let me know what you'd like to see. And if it's something that I can do, I will certainly provide that information.